to have a really easy Friday today. We've only got two cows left, so I figured we'd go live on this one to treat this cow who has seriously bad dermatitis. Craig is the cameraman today. Say hello, Craig. That's Craig. I'm going to go and switch off the crush so that it doesn't make too much noise, and then we're going to go ahead and trim this cow's foot and get the dermatitis cleaned off it. Show them that. So this cow has really bad dermatitis in here, but she also has a bit of overgrowth here. So we're going to trim up these feet, clean it all out, and then treat that terrible dermatitis, which is seriously causing her a lot of pain. Can you see me through the visor, by the way? Obviously there's not much wrong in the way of hoof horn here, but we still need to level it up and make sure that the levels are equal between the two feet, otherwise she'll end up with a sole ulcer and we're actually trying to prevent any future lameness as well as get rid of this dermatitis. Come on in. Nice sharp knives, look at that. So how is everybody today anyway? It's early. Is there many people on from Australia? A few have logged in. From Australia? Yep, there's another one there. Hi guys. That's partly why I'm doing it at this time. All those people in America won't be watching. You guys can watch instead. With whom I love all the Americans, I usually time it for them because that is the biggest portion of who watches. But all you guys down in Oz, I'm very jealous of your weather. Okay, so we've got that all trimmed up. It's looking sexy, isn't it? Look at that. And now we're gonna clean all of this gunk off and treat that dermatitis. Ooh. You like the back of my head? You have got a few from the USA popping up. <laughs> Hi. It must be late where you guys are. It's really late. So So if Craig comes in a little bit, we'll get this cleaned off and show you guys exactly what we're looking at. Wait, I'll clean the camera. Look at me. You're all fogging up. Is that better? Come right up over that, Craig. Show them it. So I'm just going to wet all of this down, look. Can you get a better picture of it? Yeah. And we'll get rid of all of this loose horn roundabout lesion. Because Dark and Debbie will get stuck in there. That's just bruising, that redness there. Normally I would be wearing gloves, but you've caught me off guard. So we've only got 11 cows to trim today. That is what you call a good Friday. I think we're getting too good. Wipe it all off. And now you can see the true extent of that. Going a little bit closer, Craig, look at that. How would you guys like that on the back of your heel? This is the biggest problem in cows worldwide. Slurry causing this infectious digital dermatitis, which is horrible. Only 101 li four likes. What's that all about, guys? Oh, super chat. Thanks, guys. That's nice. Morning from Alberta. Morning, Canada, Ireland, Brazil. You're everywhere. All right, so let's get this treated. So I'm going to open up the interdigital space. It's that space in there. We're going to open it up, clean it out, then treat this lesion.
Welcome back. So this is like a Trojan horse of the cow world, believe it or not. I'll explain that a little bit later, but it really is like a Trojan horse. That's not me like, well, I'm not clickbaiting obviously because the title's been and gone. Missed that boat. But I'll explain why this is a Trojan horse of the cow world in a minute. It's not antibiotical. It's organic, and we're going to get this sprayed on, and that will kill the dermatitis. Along with some salicylic acid, which is what people use on their face as a kind of peel. It'll kill the top layer of skin, which will help to kill that infection. And See, I do stutter a lot. And help to um, let new skin grow underneath. So first up, we have to clean the interdigital space in between there by using these pliers. Come in again. See all that gunk, look. Go right in, Craig. So it looks like we're getting in it, and then you open it up, and it properly gets right in there. Now this was bleeding before we picked it up. Just touching it and cleaning it makes it bleed even more, though. Watching you for six hours. Morning, boys, from North Somerset. Somerset. Soider country. So... I'm going to spray all of this in there. Thank you, Chris, Christopher McNamara. That's very good of you. Super chat. $14.99. What can we buy with that? That's probably like a... Let's buy with that aerial. Right. Yeah, we can buy a new aerial for that. Okay, so this Repidera is going to treat this up, but we really, this is really, really hurting the cow. So we want to get rid of all of this properly by using salicylic acid. Now this is quite a harsh product. It looks like sugar, it's not sugar, it's salicylic acid. So we're gonna tip that on there, make sure it's definitely on the lesion, and get rid of the kind of excess. We use paper, by the way, not because it's cheap, and not because we're bored, we're um, lazy, sorry, and don't buy the proper stuff. But we use it because it's biodegradable. If you use the cotton, yes, cotton is biodegradable. It takes a lot, an awful lot longer to kind of break down. Using the paper, as soon as this wrap comes off, it falls off, anything like that, then it just mixes in with the slurry and it's no issue whatsoever. So that, is that cow, finished. Look at that. Lovely. Kind of nappy, isn't it? For, for a diaper, sorry, for a cow's feet. Right, let's answer some of your questions while Craig lets this cow out and gets the next one in. Remember our back foot's up, by the way, Craig? Yeah. Right, I'm going to flip you around and read your questions, or say hello at least. Look, she's happy, isn't she? Aha, there you are. So why is Repiderma that spray? Why is it a Trojan horse? Well, that stuff. They don't sponsor me, they don't pay me, it's just telling you because this is cool. Well, everybody thinks he's noisy. He's so noisy. Everybody thinks that the, the dairy world and farm world is full of antibiotics and things. Well, actually, if you spray antibiotics or anything like that that's inorganic on a cow's foot, her skin will react against it and kind of not, it'll form a barrier and a reaction. Like your skin when it goes red and swelling because you get something bad with it. This is coated in an organic matter so it's called chelation or it's chelated so basically you've got this inorganic matter which is copper and zinc sulfate it's covered with this organic matter so the cow thinks oh that's just organic i'll let that into my skin then it gets in and the zinc and the copper kind of deploy and kill all of that nasty dermatitis how cool is that uh right what Oh, I'm gonna have to slow you down. What's the worst hoof you've ever trimmed? It's coming up on the channel next, uh, later on this week actually. It was horrendous. Really, really bad. Uh, hey, you from Western Australia. Be nice and warm out there, Nicole, I bet you. How do you decide whether to use the paste or the iodine spray? So, if it's something that's gonna be really long term, we'll use the magical paste, which is iodine and salicylic. So if it's a problem, so we use iodine when there's a problem that needs dried up. And basically, if there's dermatitis on the top of it, then salicylic is really good. So that paste that we use has salicylic and iodine within it, so it sinks right into the core. So if there's a problem that has dermatitis on that problem, then we'll use the paste. If it's just a problem that needs dried up, we use iodine on its own. Do you take care of your own feet, Duck John? Yes, I do. 
Well, probably not as well as it should. Uh, hi from Midlothian, you alright Amy, how's it going? Hello from California, I'd love to go to California, I would absolutely love it. How's the new crush coming along? The new crush is uh, in development, so we're changing bits and pieces uh, about it. I'm not going to talk too much about the new crush because I want it to be a surprise, but there are big changes on it from this one. Um, the world is watching it seems, it does, everybody's everywhere. Hello from Germany, hi Leah, you alright? Uh, Queensland, Germany, another wonderful ed educational video. Thanks very much, Vida, that's nice of you. Hi from the Philippines. Oh, the Philippines are beautiful. I've got a really good friend, an old friend from the, the Philippines. Um, he loved it out there. He used to live on literally a beach hut on the beach. Hello from India. Hi, how's it going? New Zealand. What time is it in New Zealand? You got different time zones in New Zealand, actually. Probably two, south and north. I love your channel. Uh, for what reason, I don't know. I don't know either, but I love my channel too. Uh, like I said, we've just got one more cow to do, and Craig's gonna start trimming that cow, aren't you, Craig? I was making coffee. Oh, Craig's making coffee. You can trim the cow after you've made the coffee. Who sings the intro? Eba Bendigali sings the intro. She's awesome, isn't she? It's a band called Houses on the Hill. So look up Houses on the Hill, Eba Bendigali. Hello from Sweden. Hi from Sweden. Cornwall, my best mate's from Cornwall. Uh, Care now, as she calls it. Hi from Ireland, France. You're everywhere. Um, have you done any bucking rules? Uh, yes, um, but not the sort that you guys get in the States. They're not supposed to buck over here. They do, but they're not supposed to. <laughs> Love listening to your voice. You're probably the only one then, Debbie. I ask my wife and my kids, they get sick of it. And probably Craig. Craig, do you get sick of my voice? What? Oh well, at least I'll save on his wages. Uh, I love your videos so much. Are you from Scotland? Yes, I'm from South Scotland. Indiana, 3 a.m. What are you doing up at 3 a.m.? Hi from York. My family are originally from Malton, just outside York actually. So York feels like a second home to me. How is your hand? Dirty. It's still kind of pink, but uh, and a wee bit scabby, but it's a lot better. Uh, hi for air. Yeah, Craig's from Girvan, so he knows Aya even better than I know Aya. What flavour coffee is on today? What flavour of coffee are we getting? Uh, toffee nut latte. Toffee nut latte. The gingerbreads are still out, guys. What's that all about? It's not good, is it? Guys, this is what we drink, by the way, all the time. It's in reverse right now, so flip your screens around. But toffee nut latte from Nescafe. They should, uh, they should sponsor us, shouldn't they? We should have shares in them. Right, guys, I am going to go, because this cow behind me in the crush will be getting bored. Um, we stopped for coffee breaks anyway, which is why we stopped to do it alive, because we were just about to stop anyway. But we don't like the cows to wait too long. Hi from Mexico, hi from Canada. Have you trimmed AI bills? No, I don't, because they're too far away. Why was the merch so expensive? The merch is expensive because it's really good quality. We don't really make any money on it at all. It's more um, to suit everybody, like, because we get so many questions. Can you do merch? Can you do merch? And the postage to the States was horrendous, which is partly why I stopped doing it for so long, because it embarrasses me, embarrasses me that our postal service charged so much money. Uh, have you been letting Craig light all the fires? Craig? No. No, still do it myself. Right, guys, I am going to shoot right now and get this done. Thanks very much, Craig. Craig, stop slacking. Ah, that's a good point. Right guys, I'm going. Thanks very much for tuning in to this very short live edition. Bye bye for now. I'll catch you later. Uh, there will be another video very soon. Bye. Thanks for watching. Oh, he's waving. Look at that. Good afternoon, good evening and good night, guys.